All right, everybody, I'm going to address, I'm going to jump right into this one. <laughs> I'm going to address a question that was asked to me, and I'm only addressing this because was, this was asked of me. I cannot get the temperature right in this car. Uh, and that is about black women's attitudes, um, and how you show up and present in the world and what comes off as negative and all that. So first, let me address this attitude issue that or, or claimed attitude issue problem that is going on within, within um, black women. It is a thing. I think you got. I think that you have to recognize that it is a thing. Um, is it un, an unfair stigmatization? Uh, yeah. Is it is it uh, something that is designed to help to to probably put you down and et cetera et cetera? This idea of being a sapphire and all this type of stuff. Yeah. 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 I, I acknowledge that. I'm, I'm. But is there any truth to it? I, you know, it, it's impossible to. to I don't even know if they have people have done research. I know that there's probably more than likely research detailing that it's untrue and, you know, you know, whatever's whatever, you know, and I haven't specifically read any of the research. Um, got me, got me wondering, maybe I should, but I'm going to make the video and maybe you guys can point me to it. So it's certainly unfair that, that a majority of good women are painted as, as, um, Gosh, as uh, as negative, as bossy, as as you know, negative, uh, uh, and and whatever. Listen, I, I got I'm starting to get people from all over watching these videos and, and commenting and all this kind of stuff. And some some of them are sending me sending me email emails. Um, you know, the hearing things about black women in Amer in America. Uh, it's an issue. It's an issue, and I'm not saying this. This is this is this is big brother, big uncle, fatherly advice. Take it how you want. I'm not saying this to bash and put down. I'm not. That's not my intention. It's not my intention. I'm not. I, you know, but but there is a problem. So I did. I did. Um, I did a story about a police chief of my other channel. I'll, I'll put the screenshot up here if you guys want to check it out. About a black woman, female police chief who was suspended probably fired by now, but I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, she was definitely facing termination for her comments that were made that somebody recorded her saying that um, uh, she didn't want, did not want to hire any more black females or Hispanic females because of their attitudes. That's what she said. I've done, I've seen a couple of stories about uh, airline um, uh, incidents in which people had to be dragged off or kicked off of airplanes because they just refused to cooperate. Who's doing this? The ones that I've seen. I, these are popping up on my feed. This is the my, my small circle. I'm not saying that this is some scientific study or survey. Or, I'm not saying that at all. But this is popping up. And I did a, and I'll put one up that I did, that I talked about. And, uh, you know, this, um, if anybody watches uh, uh, Dr. Rick, Dr. Ritchie, can't remember his name, Rashad Ritchie, Doctor Rashad Ritchie. Um, you know he's trying to justify this woman's actions. They were unjustifiable. There was a captain of the ship. I'm not going to play the video. There's a captain of the ship. The captain of the ship goes back to talk to this woman. He tells t tells her. She had whatever some kind of foul language on her hat, and then so they blurred it out. This is the video. She's she the woman is recording the video. She's recording the interaction. She says, the, the captain says, "Listen, I sent, I told the stewardess, or not stewardess, the flight attendant. I told the stewardess, said it again. I told the flight attendant to to tell you to take the hat off. Now it's apparent. It doesn't say it. I told her to do that." It's apparent, I'm reading through the lines, that she didn't do it or she caused an argument. So much so that the, that the flight attendant went up and got the captain, and the captain had to stop what he was doing in order to, stop, had to deal with this instead of t doing his system checks or getting ready to fly the plane, tell this woman to come back here and keep her hat off of her head. So... She had to, so she takes the hat off of her head, right? And, and then you, know, you can see it lowering, right? And then, and, then the cap, and then the captain of the ship says, listen, I want you, you can watch the interaction, you know, you can go to my channel and watch it. I want you to, to tell me and promise me that you're going to keep that. 
to keep the hat off the duration of the flight. And she says, and she's, and she's refusing to do it. She's refusing to give that acquiescence and say, I'll do it. Why? I, it's, it, the hat is off my head. You see it. You see it. I want you to tell me it's not going to be on the rest of the flight. It's off my head. Don't you see it? It's, just tell the man, <laughs> just tell the man that you're going to keep it off for the duration of the flight. You have, you, you, you have effectively held hostage this entire flight. Because you won't agree to keep this foul language that you put on your head in the first place. The walk around in public. And get on an airplane and they're telling you according to our rules and regulations. And why does he have, and, and she wanted him to prove this rules and re regulations. Where is it written out? I can't have foul language on my head. If I'm on that flight, I'm, 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 I'm living, I'm furious. Listen, lady, we got, we got places to go. You, you are holding up this flight because of the hat. Again, the flight attendant first told her she didn't do it. So then they'll go get the captain. The captain comes back, and that's when she starts filming. Oh, I'm gonna get this on tape. Yeah, I'm gonna get my. I'm gonna get this right. I got my right. I'm in America. I, freedom of speech. I'm gonna. Do what are we talking about? What are we talking about? I've seen numerous. But I've never done a video about that because I don't want because I don't want to dump on that. But I had to do one about this one because because I think that she was trying to sue and and I did a re reaction to 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 Dr. Rashad Ritchie's because he was justifying what this woman was doing. It's not justifiable. And when you do that thing, when you when you do that, we all look bad. As black people and as black females, you look bad. You give the sapphire negative energy off to the world. Everybody's seeing this. Why would you think that this is this type of behavior is okay? And I've seen numerous women doing that. I've seen women. Uh, so you, this, this question was asked to me. I didn't bring this up. I've seen black women in videos. Numer you can watch all this on YouTube. You can, you can watch it. Turning her back on a stewardess. You see this lady? She's trying to talk to me. This, that, and the other. And I said, I said stewardess again. Flight attendant. <laughs> you see this flight attendant? You know What, what do y'all think? Is it? I've seen ladies, ladies in their 40s and 50s being escorted off of planes uh, in videos in handcuffs. I got I, one lady was crying. I got a flight to catch. My granddaughter's this. My grand. I got a flight to catch. Just do what we're asking you to do. Oh, it, this one was about about sitting in the sitting in the window seats, you know, where the emergency exit. And they wouldn't they wouldn't say whether they were willing to do it or not. I, I need verbal confirmation. I sit there all the time. <laughs> I sit there all the time because it's got more room. <laughs> I want more. I'm not a, I'm not a big tall guy. I don't call myself Big L. That's because I'm. My, I'm big. I'm big L, and my son is little L. Um, but I, but I like the extra leg room. So I sit there, and they come in and ask me. They, I need a verbal. Con yes, yes. I, 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 so there's emergency. You got it. Absolutely. Let's go. Let's let's let's. You know, why is this like? Why she wouldn't? She wouldn't do it. So they escort her in handcuffs off of the plane. Is any of that necessary? Is any of that necessary? Is any, any, any of that necessary? So the question, I'm gonna move on from that. So so look at the ethnic image. Look at the this is this is why it matters. This is why it matters. This is why our MT, this is why not MTV, but our, our videos matter, our music matters, what we call ourselves the N-word, the calling right, these these housewives, these housewife shows that you that the people love, they're they're doing us all a disservice. They're doing us all a disservice. I don't even know if they're still on. I, I don't know what's going on. I don't watch TV. My entertainment, my entertainment is now making these YouTube videos and uh, uh, playing video games. This is a podcast, and you know, uh, and making. And sometimes I watch YouTube or Instagram for laughs. So that's my entertainment. I don't watch any of that stuff. So, so you have to tell me is that is that stuff still on? I don't know. But I, I'll tell you one thing. When I when the clips I did see, it was never doing this. I'm like, oh, this is terrible. So. That's the image. So how do you show up in relationships? And I think that that was the specification. So I want to just talk about this ethnic image and all that kind of stuff. So I think I think that black people really need to take a look. You, you, you need to learn how to respond. You have to, you have to, you have to, sometimes we get frustrated. 
People are people are frustrating us, but there's not always a time to lash out. You have to have developed emotional intelligence. <laughs> you have to develop uh, patience. You have to work on your communication skills. You know, stop being so forceful. And I know that I know that it probably more than likely somebody's going to say, "Well, we don't feel protected. That's why we got to stand up for ourselves." And it comes off as masculine energy and all this type of stuff. And I hear that. And, you know, I, I actually hear that. I actually hear that. Um, we had a conversation on one of the lives, and for the first time, it was really made very, very crystal clear to me about this idea of protection, what that really means, and I can understand that there was a. Um, there, there, that there has been traditionally a lack of protection with with men being being protective of their black women, and there, there's a lot of reasons to that. You know, the, the history that we have, the lynchings that we went through, the castrations, the, uh, the the emasculation. You know, all all the all the all the emasculation that we've gone through. All this type of stuff, right? So, so there, there's a history to that that we really got to unpack and really kind of give each other grace about and really work to overcome. Because I think that now and today in 2024, as we record this, we're, we're in a much better place mentally, uh, even our uh, socially, that we can move about the world. So we have to develop a mindset where that we're going to be protectors, and that's going to take undoing some of the things that were that were done in us. So that's another conversation for another day. Um, so this idea of you know, protection and coming off and masculine. I, I, I can actually listen to that and, and give it a little grace and say, you know what? Okay. But the other side of that is you gotta you gotta tone it down. And when you're in a relationship, men don't want it men don't want a confrontational woman. If you I I, I, I don't know where I'm gonna really whether I'm gonna release this one first or second, but I recorded another video. I'll be wearing the same shirt. <laughs> I recorded another video talking about uh, giving the older guys grace. You have to give these people grace. You have to give these people grace. And I'm, I'm willing to give that grace. Um, but you have to still try to work to overcome these type of things. And when, if you were raised in a household in which the matriarchy was in charge, the matriarchy, your, your grandmother, your mother, and the aunt ran the family and they told the men what to do, then you have a, then more than likely you will have a lack of respect for the men in your life. And you don't understand what it's like to talk to a man, a man, a, a man of, of, of action. Listen, I can tell you numerous times, numerous times, and there's a good video about this. If you Google, um, maybe I'll put a screenshot up, but if not, if you well, Google or, or put in YouTube search bar, uh, Atlanta police officer in park and woman arrested, something, something like that, that combination of words, there's a good video of a guy, of a woman who's talking to they, they, they caught, you know, in a park after dark, which in most cities in the United States is a infraction, something the police can, 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 do, can do something about. And so the woman, so the guy, so, so the police officer, who is a black man himself, is talking to uh, the woman and saying, listen, you got you to gotta sign this ticket. Um, just, you know, you don't have to go to jail or anything, but if you sign this ticket, I'll be, I'll be able to leave you alone, right? And, uh, and whatever. She refuses to sign the ticket. Again, I'm talking about authority and how you deal with, and how you deal in particular with black men, but how you deal, come off in, in relationships. Keep in mind what I'm saying. So, so the guy who she's with, right, during the park after dark, you know, more than likely they're during a, right, if you're in the park after dark, one of y'all ain't supposed to be there. <laughs> I can tell you that from a police officer's perspective, one of y'all ain't supposed to be there. So, otherwise you'd be at a home, at your house. Okay. So the dude is like, listen, just sign the ticket. Right, just sign a ticket. We'll deal with that. You know, she's like, no, I'm not going to sign a ticket. She goes in, she walks off, and then she goes in the car, and picks up the phone, and she starts doing. The police officer again is like, listen, ma'am, you got to sign a ticket, or you're going to go to prison, or, or no, you're going to go to jail for the night. I got to take you in because I, I don't know who you are and all this kind of stuff, right? You're not acknowledging that you're going to deal with this ticket, whether it's an infraction or whether it's a, a, a summons that you have to go to court. You're not, you're not acknowledging that. And it explains this to her. You're not acknowledging that that this that this ticket is going to it, it, it is going to, you're either going to go to prison, go to have to pay a fine, or go to jail for the night, right? And so by you signing it, it's not saying that you're guilty. It's just saying that you're acknowledging that you know you have to take care of this or respond in some way. That's all the that's all the signature is. That's all the signature is. And she refused to sign it. So then the guy goes and puts his hands on her. Okay, well, uh, okay, well now you, I got to take you in. 
I did that. I did that all the time. That that is not that is not that is not abnormal in, in in police culture. Sign sign this right here on the side of the road. Acknowledge this, and then and then we'll be on our way. People will refuse to sign. Okay, well, okay. Now we got to put hands on you. Now you're going to now you this this one thing you could have signed and been out. Now now it's a problem. Okay, now I'll sign it right. And she says that. Okay, now I'll sign. No, I'm sorry. Uh, no, it's over now. Once a police officer puts his hands on you, it's over. The, the, the discussion is over. <laughs> it's over. I'm saying I, I brought that up to say that this is that, that there is a there is a disrespect. There is a disrespect for 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 for, for masculinity and manhood. There's a disrespect, and that came off in that particular video. This is a black cop, a black male cop. Her black boyfriend who was with her or boyfriend or paramour or person for the night whoever <laughs> um was telling her to, to sign it to, she didn't think she had to just like the women on the plane i don't think i got i don't think i gotta follow these rules i don't think i gotta follow these rules so Listen, this is this is an issue, and this is comes from being raised in matriarchies and not having strong male dominance and presence in your life and telling you this, that, and the other. That's where it comes from. You, there's no there's no respect for authority, and I saw this all the time when I when I, when I walked in people's houses. I saw it all the time. I saw it all the time. The woman is bucking up, yelling, screaming, hollering, yelling, screaming, hollering. The guy's trying to calm her down. Because he knows, the guy knows what's going to happen. And what he knows was going to happen, happened. <laughs> it happened. It happened in that video. It happened. It happens. It happened. It's, 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 it's going to happen. So, listen. Um, relationships. Be calm. Be cool. Be collected. Listen to what's being said. Listen try, and try to filter it. Try to do some active listening. Active listening in, uh, includes uh, repeating back to them what they said. I want you to pick up this plate and put it over here in the sink. Okay, if I understand what you said, you want me to pick up this plate and put it on the sink. Is that is that is that right? That's the way you have to actively listen. You have to repeat things back. You, you can't respond emotionally. You can't respond in, in all this type of way, right? You can't respond that type of way. You can't respond in the negative type of way. What I just gave you is the way you should respond in order to be act, an active listener and making sure that you understood what was being said. Not what you thought they said, not what you thought they meant. That is active listening. So these are just some of the ways that you can, that you can come up and show up differently in the world. Show up differently. A man wants to cooperate or... <laughs> He wants some cooperation, cooperation. He wants that. I don't want to come home from the world where I got to fight with people. I got to be called these different names. I'm wrestling on the job. I'm making moves. I'm I'm dealing with real estate investors. I'm I'm dealing with if I own a lawn company, I, my truck broke down. I got to deal. I'm dealing with all this stuff. I'm dealing with all this stuff, and I, and then here you come with some BS. When I walk into my own home, my own sanctuary, my own place of peace, I gotta now fight again. Like you, like you're, the, like you're the, the the captain on the ship, or you're the the the, uh, the flight attendant, or you're the police officer dealing with this woman. The, all these different stories. I, I, I'm saying this to give examples. They don't want that. Want a nice, peaceful, relaxing, beneficial time. That's what they want. The 40 and 50 year old ladies, the aunties, need to school these ladies. You need to school your younger ladies and you have to start young, nine, 10 about how to interact with a man. If you don't have respect for, for the men in your life, you're a 40, 50 year old lady, you are modeling the very type of behavior that is gonna be, that is gonna drive men away. Men, not males, 
men. Because no man is going to deal with that. We're not going, I'm not going back and forth. These guys out here going back and forth and arguing. Listen, there's nothing, I'm telling you right now, to, to a man who's on his game, on his grind, who's making money, who's at his own house, car, apartment, uh, 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 has a sense of self-worth, is not going to tolerate that kind of bull from, from any woman. From any woman. There's nothing. Listen, there is nothing to discuss. I asked you to pick up this and put that over here. And you want to give me lip? Okay. You can get that. <laughs> you can extricate yourself from my presence. Or I'm going to extricate, extricate myself from yours. And we don't have anything to ever talk about again. Because I only want a woman who's fit. Feminine, friendly, and cooperative. Sweet and submissive. That's what we want. Anything else. What's that commercial used to say? Anything else is uncivilized. Any, anything else is, 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 is unacceptable. And I'm not going to argue with a woman about, about anything. Here's the way that it is. I grew up in a church where... I grew up in a church where the, where, the, where the males were very, very dominant. And we had a pastor in the church. And he used to say all the time, men might be tight, but it's right. And I'm, and I'm saying this because I love you. And I'm correcting you because I love you. That was, that was my environment. Even though I didn't have a father, that was my environment. Tuesday, Friday, twice on Sunday, that's what I heard. Then I had uncles. Then I went to, then I went to, to the pastor's houses. Uh, um, um, the other deacons' houses and stuff after, after church on Sundays, right? I told all that story before, right? Then we had, um, I, I was in a part of summer camp. The summer camp was mostly men running it, right? And then after a while, some, some ladies started to come in and be camp counselors and stuff. You need strong men. You need strong men. But this, but this sapphire energy, it's giving y'all a bad name. It's giving y'all a bad rap. It's giving y'all a bad rap. And when you don't stand up and correct it, when you that's why I highlight the videos that I do about Miss Anita and uh, I forget the other lady's name I just did, uh, when she was talking about the bonnets and stuff, I forget her name. Um, and that's why I highlight those ladies because they need, more ladies need to say it. Dee Dee, uh, Crimson Cure, um, what's her name? Uh, Pink Book Lessons. There's another one too. Dee Dee, Reba, Reba, Reba TV, Dee Dee, Pink Book Lessons, Crimson Cure. There's one or two more. Those ladies, the, the, the other lady I watched the other day, Miss Anita from Better Love Movement, all these ladies, they'll, they'll put, listen, they'll straighten this nonsense out. They, you need those aunties. This energy that's going on here, this, this, it's crazy. It's crazy. You got your men, your men, listen to what I'm saying, your men are so fed up that they're getting on airplanes and leaving. Men are walking away. Somebody put it in the comment section. I did read it. 60% of men are now voluntarily, uh, I guess on Joe Rogan's thing, 60% of men are saying, F it. F it. I'm not dealing with this. This boss chick era, this this masculine energy, this. I'm not dealing with that. Listen, feminism was, was, was great for, for allowing women to leave the home and all this kind of stuff. But it's turned you into monsters. It's turned you into monsters. And listen, I started off talking about, about in particular, black women. Now I'm talking about everyone. But let me get it black, black. Because I was asked a question about black women. How do you show up in the world? I really, really want to stick with that. You got to be sweet, submissive, feminine. You got to check yourself. Ask yourself, are you cooperating with a man why did you give this man a hard time you gotta have self-talk why did you give this man a hard time think about your past relationships call him up or email him text him and say listen i don't i don't want to get back together whatever it's over but how did i come off was i was i masculine did you think i was mean did you did, did i cooperate with you if you asked me to do something that i do it right ask him you gotta do a self-assessment it's lunchtime everybody's gonna get lunch Ask 
him. Ask him how you came off. Analyze how your family talks to their, your, your, the women in your life talk to the men in their life, whether it's their husbands, whether it's their boyfriends, whether it's their sons. Uh, look at how they interact when they are uh, uh, at Christmas, Thanksgiving, uh, uh, July 4th. Um, the memor memorial, as I record, the Memorial Day is coming up. It'll probably pass whenever this I release this. How do they talk to these? How do they talk to these men? How do they talk to these boys? Because that's how boys are going to internalize that. And these boys are not saying I don't got to deal with that. Because they watch. Because these boys are watching Kevin Samuels. I've heard. I've heard. I've heard of mothers punishing their sons, punishing their sons for watching Kevin Samuels videos. Oh, Kevin Samuels clips. You think that's going to help? Boys want to be boys. They, they, they want to be men. You got to nurture and guide them in the right direction. But if you're belittling them and calling them names and you're talking to them crazy and he sees his aunts talking to his uncles crazy and he, he's at Christmas time and he sees, you know, the mother, the grandmother, the matriarch of the family dominating everyone and just talking to everyone and the men in his family and this, that, and the other, right? And he goes to work or, 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 or he goes to school or he watches a video like this and he sees it's okay to be a man, it's okay to be masculine and he's watching a UFC fight and he sees these dudes dominating and all this kind of stuff and he's got to come home to this, to this, to this and be punked down in his old house? Hell yeah, he's going to leave. Hell yeah, he's going to leave. He ain't going to want to deal with the little girls in the schoolyard when he, when he can talk to a young Latina or a young white girl. Who's going to give him less of that masculine energy? Come on, come on, come on, come on. So, again, <laughs> I was asked this question. You got to show up, you got to show up differently. You got you to fix your mind, you got to fix your frame of thinking. You got to fix and, and really analyze how you've been talking talking to these people and really make some adjustments in, in, in your thinking. You got to make a plan to, to make some adjustments in your thinking, you got to make a, a, a you, you know, listen to these, to these, I would say, watch some of these femininity coaches, um, and, you know, Google femininity coaches, uh, in your area, watch them on YouTube, do something in order to, to see how you come off. Right. Uh, I've had a few ladies already like talk to me and they're like, oh, you know, and I, I listen, I, I tell them honestly, you know, listen, you come off very, very feminine. I don't think that's your problem. And if you came off masculine, yeah, I'm, I'm going to tell you, yeah, listen, this, this, I'm getting nothing but masculine energy right now. <laughs> I'm getting nothing but, so you can ask me, I do a 20 minute session with you, a half an hour, hour session where we talk about it. You know, you, 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 you know, you, I, I know that the world is called for masculinity whether it's in the workplace and in particular with black females. I, I recognize that. I've said it or I recognize that. But you, but you got to recognize that men don't want that. Men don't want that. And when you bring that, when you bring that type of nobody can talk to us energy, no one can correct us energy. When you're in, when you're in restaurants twerking on tables, when you're getting on a, I wish I could find a picture. I don't know why I deleted it, but it was a two women, Sitting in first class, right? You bossed up. You, you're making money. You've got your education, and now you think you can just sit in first class with your bonnet on, going to Paris, and who gonna stop us? God, I wish I had that 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 um that um picture. Who gonna stop us? Listen, th but this is what happens when 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 relationships are not essential anymore. Essential as in needed, necessary, right? They're not. They're not essential and necessary. You, you can just do whatever you want. There's no correction, no accountability. Nobody's holding each other accountable. Women are raising women to be more to be more masculine. It's unfortunate, man. Because guys, guys are now the ones that are calling for marriage. I want to be married. I want to. I want a family. And they're going. They're going overseas and getting women either importing them. Are they doing it in China? If you watch me talk about that, they're, they're doing it in China, right? Going to get some women that they want. These women out here on some other stuff. They don't want to be families. They don't want to be wives. They want to be boss chicks. They want to get married at 39 to 40, try to have, pump out three kids. I just watched the video yesterday uh, uh, talking about that. <laughs> uh, 39 years old, and I can give a guy three kids. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. Listen, don't you recognize that after what, 33, 34, right? The, the, the risk of. of, of 
problematic pregnancies goes up along with, right? You don't know how the child's going to turn out, right? Bringing a child into the world, they might have autism and stuff. And no, no, shout out, no shade to, to those who are dealing with that type of thing, but, but come on, man. Come on. Come on. So, again, I got off on another tangent there. You, you really got to do some self-reflection. Self, you, you know, I, I'm definitely, the people who are really curious about this type of thing can recognize, can see when they've come off in a negative way. Can see when they come off and talk, and talk in a negative way. And I don't want to make this to be harping and beating up on anybody, but again, I was asked about this. So I'm giving my honest opinion. I'm going to give it to you raw with no chaser. So... So I leave it off there. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions. You can feel free to beat me up in the pot, <laughs> beat me up in the comment section. I can take it. Much love and peace.